Yep, it's pretty much finally official. We now know the flagship chipset that will be powering the upcoming Galaxy S23 series early into next year for 2023. Qualcomm are holding their annual Snapdragon Summit and have officially announced their new premium Snapdragon chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our quick breakdown of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and what that means for the Galaxy S23. Like clockwork, we expect a new slew of chipset announcements from Qualcomm, especially around this time of year when they hold their Snapdragon Summit. The most anticipated announcement is always their top tier flagship SoC, which last year was the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But for this year, going into 2023, it's called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Let's do a quick overview and breakdown of what new things the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 brings and what that could mean for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. In terms of the design and performance, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is based on a 4 nanometer fabrication process, which is what we're suspecting to be the second generation version of the 4 nanometer process from TSMC for better efficiency. And also it is based on an eight core design with a 143 configuration. The most powerful core is actually clocking all the way up to 3.2 gigahertz with four performance cores at 2.8 gigahertz and three efficiency cores at 2.0 zero gigahertz. This is an interesting change in the core formation as previously the 8 Gen 1 was using a 134 configuration and the fact that the four performance cores are actually split into two banks with two supporting 32-bit operations for legacy applications and two supporting 64-bit operations. What Qualcomm are stating is that the new SoC is up to 35% faster for the CPU performance with up to 40% more efficiency when it comes to power draw. Now the GPU on the other hand is up to 25% faster with up to 25% efficiency when it comes to power draw. Considering how much focus there is around AI in the SoCs nowadays, Qualcomm is not missing out on the chance to showcase their claims of improvements, which is said to be up to 435% faster thanks to the use of their AI engine, including their hexagon-based processor built into the 8 Gen 2 chip. There is also now support for LPDDR5X RAM with up to speeds of 4200 megahertz and support for UFS 4.0 storage, which is a first on a Snapdragon chip. Another first for Qualcomm is the introduction of Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3, thanks to the use of Qualcomm's Fast Connect 7800 mobile connectivity system. And also thanks to the integration of the Snapdragon X70 modem, 5G support with sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave is still here. This also houses what Qualcomm are calling their first 5G AI processor within the X70 modem for better enhanced 5G experience across the board. How this will actually work in balancing speeds and efficiency is yet to be determined, but it is good to see the attempts to make the 5G experience a lot better for mobile devices. The focus on the camera experience not only brings features like 8K HDR at 30 frames a second capture, but also centers around a fast capture experience with Qualcomm claiming zero shutter lag with 108 megapixel image captures at 30 FPS. Now this could be a great benefit for flagship Galaxy devices as improvements to the shutter speed would be much welcome. Gamers are not left out when it comes to the improvements that 8 Gen 2 brings with the Adreno 740 GPU with features such as hardware-based ray tracing in real time, Vulkan 1.3 support for up to 30% performance uplift in supported games, and also going as far as enabling support for Unreal Engine 5, which is a first for Snapdragon. That overall sums it up for the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which based on Qualcomm's track record, looks to be very promising in regards to overall performance and efficiency. Now, real world testing will be the final judgment, but what does that actually mean for the upcoming Galaxy S23? It was officially announced on stage that Samsung will now be joining the Snapdragon Pro series as the presenting partner for 2023. With esports gaming and mobile gaming on the rise, Samsung looks determined to showcase the best gaming experience on Galaxy devices. What this in turn could mean, as we've been following from the rumors in the past couple of months, is that on a global scale, the Galaxy S23 series will be powered all by Snapdragon, which means in regions traditionally like Europe and UK, which usually has the Exynos chipset variant of Samsung's flagship S-series line, 
we finally might get to experience Snapdragon just like what we do on their foldable devices, giving a more consistent experience for performance, gaming, camera, and most importantly, efficiency. With rumors also surrounding the Galaxy S23 Ultra using a 200 megapixel main sensor, and also the fact that the 8 Gen 2 supports 200 megapixel sensors and fast capture, it will be an area that the Galaxy S series power users will be eager to test out and experience and will hopefully no longer have to worry about a different experience between Snapdragon and Exynos as the experience should be consistent across all devices in all regions. Let us know your thoughts on the newly announced Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and are you finally happy to see that potentially all S series devices from Samsung will have the same chipset just like what they do on their foldables in all regions? Let us know your comments below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.